star ratings are a really quick one in Elementor. All you need to do is create a section like I have down here. I've done it just as a single one, but if you wanted, you could also do two, three, four columns as per normal. We'll stick with one for now. And then if I delete this, what we want to do is come on over to our widget section just up here. Come on down to general, and then you're gonna find the uh, star rating widget. Drag it on in. By default, it's gonna look like this. Now, I just wanna make this a little bit bigger so you can see it better. So we'll come back to this in a moment. For now, I'm gonna hop over to style, come down to size, and let's drag this up. Let's make this 35. We can then use the spacing to increase the space between the stars a little bit. Let's make it around five. And now if we jump back over to content, we can put this in the middle down here under alignment so we can get it into the middle of our page. Up at the very top under the ratings, we have the rating scale. So we can do one to five or we could do one to 10. If I leave it on five for the moment. Here we can now select what we want our rating to be. We could do it as whole numbers like this, or if we want, we can click up and down and that's gonna fill in part of the stars there. Which always looks quite good. You can choose whether or not you want to use Font Awesome or Unicode. It looks slightly different on the star style. Personally, I prefer Font Awesome. And then down here where it says Unmarked Style, if we had this up at the full five, you're not gonna see a difference here. But if I bring this down, so once again, let's put this down to about three and a half. Now you see that we've got the outline, whereas if I click onto Solid, it just fills it in or with that gray color. If you come down here, Put in a title, that's obviously gonna put it before the stars there. Get rid of that. And then if we come back up to style, you can choose your colors. So this is the main color, the sort of gold that we have here at the moment. So if we wanted, we could change that color. I'll clear it, put it back to what it was. And then we have the unmarked color, which is this area that we have over here. So if we do that, we could change that to a different color as well. But I like it how it was. And it really is that simple. So Back to content, choose the star rating that you want, choose how much of it is gonna be filled in, font awesome or Unicode, whether you want this solid or outline shape, and obviously where you want it to align on the page. Now, if this is relating to me, naturally, I think I'll give myself a full 10 stars. If you feel the same, then please like the video and subscribe to the channel. And if you don't, then, well, give me another chance and watch one of the other tutorials. Thanks again for your time. Until next time, goodbye.